Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we have a brand new game for you. This is G.I. Joe War on Cobra. We're going to go ahead and dive into this game, see what this game is all about, give you a rundown, a beginner's guide version of this game so you know what you need to do and if it's something you might be interested in. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So, G.I. Joe War on Cobra. This is a base builder type game. This is very similar to Clash of Clans, and uh, it's, a, it's a genre that's been around for a very long time, which is kind of odd that we have something uh, brand new in this genre coming into play. I think um, G.I. Joe is, very, is a very awesome skin to put over the top of this. Uh, it's not a game that I typically play. I don't play these games very often, but I had to check this out because it's G.I. Joe. It's what I grew up with, and I thought it was pretty cool. I like the art style in it. So we're going to go ahead and run through what this is all about, show you some combat, give you kind of um, an overall beginner-type view of this game, and uh, have a little bit of fun with it. So uh, first things first, when you start with this game, you're going to go through a nice little tutorial that's going to tell you pretty much everything you need to know. And again, if you're pretty familiar with this genre, there's really nothing different. Now, I haven't kept up with this genre very often, so there are a couple things I'm going to point out that I think are pretty cool. And you'll have to let me know if it's something that's being done in other games uh, in this genre as well. But first, you're going to go through the tutorial, and then you're going to have the choice to choose between Cobra and G.I. Joe, which is pretty cool. As you can see, I chose GI, uh, Cobra. However, the cool thing is, is look at this. This right up here, you got the Cobra and the G.I. Joe uh, sign right here. We click on that. Look at You will change factions to Joe. Any progress will remain. And all of your buildings and cargo timers will continue to count down. So you can go back and forth. As you can see, I built this up. Let's go ahead and move over to Joe really quick. It's going to transfer over. Load times are pretty decent. It doesn't. It's not absolutely insane. And then you can see what I'm doing over on the Joe side of this game. So it's very cool that you can go back and forth. As you can see, haven't really built this up much. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty much it. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And uh, we don't even have uh, anything here. So let's go ahead and jump back. I'll go back and forth a little bit just so you can see some of this. But I can switch back now and then continue doing what I'm on the other side. So you can play both sides of the game which I think is very cool. I don't know that you can do that in other games, uh, but again, let me know if that's uh, if that's not true. It could be, it may not be. All right, so in this game, basic base builder type game. You're building uh, different buildings and collecting different resources so you can do different things. So let's just go ahead. I'm gonna click on rewards here really quick on the 30 day rewards. This just gives a nice little rundown of what everything's for, right? So you have these minerals. These are used to resupply units defeated in battle you'll see that once we jump into battle and you have access access to uh areas of the map that are locked we'll take a look at that as well gold here are these credits used to level up units and common cards i'll show you that as well and then you have oil here that is used to upgrade and construct buildings on your base so we go back here here's my oil here's my minerals and if i go out to the map here you can see you can see kind of what this looks like overall. All right, so here we go. Here's my map. I've got some players here, so you can attack other players, things like that. You uh, have these little story mode missions here that pop up as well, which I think is pretty cool. You have these little locked areas. I click on that. I can unlock that for 250 minerals. Um, so I haven't really played around with that too much. Let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and unlock one. Uh, what's this one? 250. Let's unlock it. So there we go. It's Cobra. I click on it and it tells me it's going to help me get 274.8 credits per hour. Um, so cool. That's what all these all these do. It looks like you can only get these credits out here. And credits, uh, things get kind of pricey. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and jump into battle here in just a minute, but we can go back to base. And just like with any other game of this type, as you, the more that you play and you move up in tiers, you unlock more and more characters, more and more abilities, cards, whatever you want to call them. Let's go ahead and collect all these right here. They haven't really been collecting very long. What I'm looking for right now, so I want to upgrade my base right now. I'll grab those credits. I want to upgrade my base 
Uh, and in order to do that, so I have a level three layer, but I need 7,500 7, oil, and it's gonna take it's gonna take 60 minutes. Or if I want, I can spend 59 gems, and these gems are are what you're going to use to speed up all the different timers and stuff like that. This is gonna take an hour, but I can spend 59 gems if I want to do it instant, which, you know what, maybe I'll do one of these days. All right, so these little walls here, one of the things that's different that I know between this and Clash of Clans, I believe, so walls can be, can be you, you can fight through, damage and break down the walls. You can't do that here. Again, uh, it's been a while since I played that game, so if that's incorrect, let me know. All right tips over here these are just a little quests and stuff like that these are your like your daily missions that you want to do uh, in order to collect your gems diamonds crystals whatever they want to call them defeat uh, it says defeat another player in battle build a barracks or guard tower build the locker room or the villains lair so that's all dependent on which faction that you choose uh, we've got a couple missions here that uh, I haven't collected everything for but uh, it's upgrading and constructing buildings We'll collect those. You also have achievements here. Let's grab that too. And then your achievements. Again, join an alliance. Connect with Facebook. Win the first Joe campaign mission, which I've already completed there. So I'll go ahead and grab these as well. So a bunch of stuff that you can do as you're building up your base, fortifying your base so that people don't steal all your good stuff. All your resources, your minerals, your oil, your credits. Also, the cool thing here, you have a radar dish. So this radar dish actually helps you on the map. The the uh, the higher level your radar dish is, the more of the map that you uncover. So if we just take a look at where we can see again, we're gonna go ahead and jump into battle here. Um, so like in these uh, these areas out here, um, like right here, boom! I click on that. It says my radar area unlocked. Radar level three needed. So. Um, so it just it's kind of cool this map continues to expand I've, I've expanded it once and I think it's uh, I, I think it's pretty cool it's pretty interesting I think it's a not differently not a brand new fresh look at the game but I think uh, it does some pretty cool stuff all right so here's me let's go ahead I'm gonna jump into one of these we got flaming battalion over here uh, look at that we've got some gold and some minerals that we can pick up and if we win or lose we'll get plus 20 or minus 20 of these of these um, trophies or cups or whatever you want to do, we got 2,000 gold and minerals there. So let's see, uh, let's see what kind of setup these guys have. All right, so here's your base. Now these areas here, there's a couple other areas here that unlock once you get up to certain levels. All right, so here we are on the base. Now what we can do if we take a, if we click on these, we can see the health. So 273 there, 316. These these turrets need these power generators in order to operate that's why you have to have them close to these ones right however if you take a look at the power generators 310 health versus 273 health that's 300 what 16 um then it's probably quicker it's probably going to be quicker since you got to get around back here and get within range to take the turrets out first we got 260 for that one 273 for that one so i think what i'm going to do and we're gonna see if this works. So squad selection, cool thing here. So uh, you got a couple leaders here. I'm using Baroness as my leader. You can see down here in the uh, in the bottom left. You also have Destro. Destro can be a leader, but I also really like him on the battlefield. Devastating short range attacker with support. It's got this right here. Nanotech Overdrive directly stimulates reflexes of units in the target area, increasing their attack speed, which is very cool. And then you also have this. Destroyed enemy buildings generate extra AP while Destro is on the battlefield. So while he's on the battlefield, your AP, attack points, whatever they want to call it, that's what you use. It's just like a mana bar or anything else that you use to throw your your um, your your team out. So where do I, look at we got a little mine right here too. We're gonna avoid the mine really quick. Go to my squad selection. I think I'm pretty good here. Let's put down. I'm gonna throw these guys. Throw those guys down in there, and then this. Um, how do we? Uh, how are we doing on water? We can throw boats in the water as well. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna throw that in there, and then I have I have this. I like using this this missile strike. And I think, I think we're going to be good with that. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat this guy, girl, whoever it might be. Let's go. We're going to hit battle. And then I'm going to throw these guys down first. And then I'm going to throw these guys, um, these guys right behind them. And then I'm going to use this to tell them to attack that. 
Oh, where's my Destro? Why don't I have my Destro there? See, that's almost not even cool. Get rid of that. All right, let's work on these guys here. So what I'm doing here with this is this allows me to target the whole team. It'll allow the whole team to target a specific target. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw that out there and this team out there. So we we pretty much got this. That's done. Let's go ahead and get rid of these barracks up here so they can't spawn any more, any more um, enemies. And there we go. So, and the cool thing is, I can like have these guys go attack this thing over here. I can have these guys go attack the radar dish, and I can have this guy attack this. Now, what you want to do is, as you destroy the buildings, you get your star, uh, uh, your star percentage up here. I can't. Uh, we can throw the boat in there. Watch. Check that out. The boat's gonna go ahead and attack that. See, pretty cool, pretty easy. I'm gonna throw Baroness out, so now I can throw my leader out. Got enough for that, and then we have her attack right here. I'm gonna use her sniper attack on the base here. And we're gonna destroy the base. Boom, done. We didn't even use the missile strike. Look at that, maxed out my my uh, um, my oil at 8,000. I've got over 11,000 on the minerals. So I, so, the resupply, so the crystals right here, as you, uh, you have the crystals here and as you use your different units, you do need to resupply in order to use your units again, especially if they get destroyed. Look at that. We also got four battle cargo. So that's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to go jump over into the base now real quick. I like the, the option there to go to the base or go directly to the map. And then we're going to, uh, let's, let's upgrade a building here. Oh, look at that. We're full. So I, I hadn't noticed that before. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to use 7,500 of this on this right here. Boom. It's 59 instant. Look at that. We just used all of that. And it's going to take an hour. Now, I do have some speed ups. You can click on this and do some speed ups. I got what? Speed that up a little bit. I've also got two 15 minutes, so I can take 30 minutes off of it. So it's going to take 20 minutes. And now I got that all the way down to 19 19 gems if I want to do that now the reason why I want to do that is as I increase this I'm gonna it as you upgrade your main base it allows you to unlock more and more uh, Structures that you can go ahead and build to to build up your base here All right, this next here look at so this locked area uh, Headquarters level six so that's another reason why you want to upgrade your base so you can un unlock these areas here and then this area right here um, at level 12. So once you unlocked all this and you get all your bases built, you got to fight through more and more buildings and and structures and and um, vehicles and things like that in order to reach the base, in order to take the base out. So it definitely gets more and more difficult as you go. All right, so then as you go, you go into your cargo here and you can you get different types of crates. And it's a it's a, a, a pretty familiar mechanic. You either wait a certain period of time or you use your gems, crystals, whatever. What are they calling these? Gems or crystals? Diamonds. Using your diamonds to um, bypass the timer. Now, the only, now, one of the things I really don't like about this is I cannot. So I've got this on a timer right now. I got three hours and 12 minutes to go. I can't unlock this and put this on a timer. It only, that, it only says, hey, spend your diamonds in order to unlock it. It won't let me put all of them on a timer, which is, I think is dumb, actually. And it's, so, it's something they should be able to easily change. But this is uh, basic. There we go. Here we got. Now, the cool thing here is, and, and this is typical as well, watching a video to re-roll or to get more what energy in certain games, things like that. So you always have the option to do that. I'm okay with what I got here, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. Let's see what we get out of this bronze cargo. See if we get anything good here. There we go. We got some Bat Squad, Stinger, some more Incinerators, uh, Speed Up. And that is that. Done. Now, that's pretty much it. And that is it. That is pretty much it. That is pretty much the game. You're continuing to, build, to upgrade your structures, fortifying your base, coming up with the best layout that you can. Let's see. I can go to the store here. So we have different packs, obviously, if you want to spend money, resources, again, if you want to spend money, cargoes, you have your defense and your support structures here. So right now, these are the only two that I can build right now. I can build a guard tower or a villain's hideout. 
So I need to save up 4,000 and then 7,500 for those. And again, you can see the timers there. And as far as support, I don't have anything unlocked yet. I looks like right now I've reached my limit on all these other structures here, as you can see. So there's only two more, it looks like, that I can build right now. And I have to get up to level nine in order to do the espionage depot and the covert ops. And the way that you build experience and gain experience and level up is uh, right here. You can see I'm level four right now. Where's my cursor? There we go. Level four is building structures and things like that. So let's go ahead. We're going to do another battle. All right. Now, um, I'm not going to go to the four. I think that's probably going to be a little bit tougher right now. We're going to go to this, this over here. I get 1,200 oil. It looks like we have four four of six crates that we can grab. You can also use your credits to change opponents and things like that. Maybe it's that the opponent's too tough. Maybe it's a level four. You want to try and get a level three. So you have that option as well. I just, you know what? I do like the artwork. I like the graphics that they use for it. Um, I love GI Joe, like I said, so it's very cool to have that. Um, all right, so pretty basic, similar to what we had before. Uh, and like I said, this has just come out a couple days ago. We're going to resupply everything, go back to my squad. I'm going to bring Destro down. I really don't care about the water. So I'm going to swap that out and throw Destro out there. Now you can see the energy that it takes here, the AP points, whatever you want to call it. Um, so once I get to level six, I can unlock this other spot. Then you got uh, level five, I'll have another spot here. Now this is these types of things. So this is my, uh, my missiles. This is, uh, this, okay, here we go. So this is your missile strike, uh, and then you have your turret hack, take control of an enemy defense building. Uh, I haven't really found too much uh, too much use for that right now. And then this uh, stimulus resource health to all units in the target area, which is nice. I think I'm gonna use that as soon as I get to level five, um, but we're gonna, we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use uh, this missile strike. Yeah, I think I'll use the stimulants as soon as I can. All right, I think we're good. Squad looks good, right? Now, if I do, I can, hold on a second, just to show this. I can go ahead and switch this. I'm gonna just throw that out there. No, no, that, there we go. I can switch this and throw Destro in there. And now Destro gives me this Nanotech Overdrive. But I like having Baroness in there. And I like having Destro on the battlefield. Uh, now I don't uh, because while because again while he's on the battlefield this right here Destroyed enemy buildings generate extra AP while Destro is on the battlefield And you can't throw him on the battlefield as a leader right off the bat because you definitely don't throw your leader on the battlefield right away <laughs> All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and jump into battle All right, we are going to um, ignore this mine over here. We're gonna go after the turrets again So we're gonna throw these guys out along with Destro and they're gonna attack this right here. Now we're gonna wait for some AP because we're gonna bring out this armored vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna bring this out. Do some damage. There we go, now we bring the vehicle out. Get rid of that turret over there. Bring these guys out. Hey look, at as we destroy buildings, we get that AP. And then we can just mow everything down, and that's it. We're pretty much done, golden. So I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have the uh, stinger operate that. I'm gonna have these guys go ahead and destroy the radar. Let's take these guys, the bat, to go ahead and destroy that over there. Look at you just. I love how you can do that. Destro. Oh, I was already working on that. Check that out. Let's bring out Baroness. Done. Now, obviously, as we continue to go get higher and higher and uh, go against more difficult enemies, that's not going to be as easy. This is brand spanking new, right? All right, so that is what we got. We got a bronze cargo, and that is that. So I can go back to the map if I want. And this video is turning out to be a little bit longer than I wanted it to. One last thing to show, you can go into Alliance. You can join an Alliance. I haven't really done that yet. Um, if you take a look at this. Now these right here, this right here tells you how many trophies are required to join that Alliance. You also have uh, private and public Alliances. But also, if I want to go into here, check out Indonesia, you can take a look at everybody. But look, everybody's been offline for a very, very long time. So this game has been in soft launch for a while, as you can tell. And uh, just recently globally launched. So 
they're going to have to work on filtering some of those out there because a lot of those aren't even active alliances anymore. All right, there you go, everybody. That's what I had for you today. Today, This is G.I. Joe War on Cobra. I'm having fun with it. I'm going to continue playing around with it. And uh, very interested to hear from you what you think of this game. Is this a uh, type of game that you would typically play? Do you like the Clash of Clans style? Do you like G.I. Joe? A lot of cool stuff here, I think. Anyway, all right, everybody. That's what I had for you today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. And if you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.